For 40 years, I've been tearing my heart out for the underdogs, the poor, the less privileged, and the Nigerian youths, nudging them to stick to their dreams and to never let anyone kill it for them, not even their parents. Yeah. I am glad that my consistency and tenacity has encouraged millions of youths to chase their own dreams and never give up on themselves. Though coming from an elitist background, know what it means to be poor. So that is why I am passionate about the poor. Because of my pedigree and my rich heritage, people always wonder, what is this affinity with the poor? The needy, the disenfranchised, and the downtrodden? What is it? But verily, verily, I say unto you, I have been poor at a point in my life. Like Jesus Christ who became man to understand what it means to be a man. I tasted poverty. When as a young man, I deliberately decided to chart my own path against my parents' approval. I hit brick wall, starting from ground zero. Yes, you can imagine. From America, Yankee, to the village, all just to prove to my parents that I can survive and succeed without endorsement or their support. Seven years in that village, seven hard years I spent in the village coming back from America. I lost my self-esteem. I lost my confidence. Hmm? I was overwhelmed with this inferiority complex. I almost went mental, Golo, till an angel Yes, an angel. The late Tina Omudiwe, the African Oyibo, yes, rescued me from the village. God bless us all. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I see differently about holding on to the slogan, One Nigeria. What does that mean? Sometimes I feel like I'm knocking my head against the wall. Why are my people so arrogantly ignorant? Yeah, why? Why they be me like say their mumu na fulu come? I'm getting tired of holding on to this one Nigeria dream. You know, they make sense to me again. Yeah, many youths today don't even believe in the future of the shithole. Many have given up. Those who have the opportunity, then they jack out. Living in thousands, living this hell hole. Being good or doing good, it's so anti-social. Many of us are like crabs in the bucket, pulling good things down, because many now believe that anything, everything, and everybody is bad. And so, must be brought down, pull them down, who them be? Demonic forces at war. Many believe that everybody is a criminal. I still believe that there are a few good people, good, honest people in Nigeria. There may be, I don't know, but they're there. I know there are good and bad people everywhere. But the bad people, the riffraffs, people from the gutter, born through away, stray cats, idiots, betrayers, have taken over our space. Yes, that's what's happening. It's systematic. The few good men have gone into Hagia. In Nigeria, they want us to believe that most Yorubas are here and nowhere. They're slippery, they're deceitful. The Fulanese think they were born to rule, even with their incompetence and their cluelessness. They want us to believe that most Igbos turn everything into a transaction. For money, they will kill themselves. They like to fix other people's environment, neglecting their homeland, the core of their existence. What kind of bullshit is that? Now, let's be sincere. You see, this contraction called Nigeria is not working because the rulers have succeeded in fragmenting us. Yes, they've divided us. The impression is that the Yorubas are deceitful. They also have Fulanese. They just want to dominate. The Igbos are tricky, cunning. You know, all they want is money, 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 money. They do everything for money. The minority tribes, Uncle, they are all marginalized. Abi? Government magic. But let me say this. Among all the tribes, the Igbos have carried this imaginary one Nigeria on their head the most. Yes, quote me. Today, 
if we can tell ourselves the truth. We must all agree that the only way to move forward as a unit, as a nation, as a country, is by restructuring. Every region should, 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 should fend for themselves and pay taxes to the center. That's what I say. Therefore, I, Charlie Bourne, Chukwe Meko Puta, Yodurubari, but one of Africa, the president of all frustrated Nigeria, have resolved that to advising everybody, go back to your region and let's start to build from the inside out. Your house, no go be like Potopoto. Poto. You won't come out outside to the dengue, the depose, come the talk nonsense, come the deceive people. Go back to your region and make it work. From your local government chairman to the state. Yeah, let's all go back. I'm going home to the southeast to tear my heart out and to work tirelessly to help to build a home I can be proud of. And let anyone come and tell me they want to rugalize my region. But when you sit there, Listen, we need a mental, mental, mental revolution. Not all this papa nyanya. Sometimes they be me saying like, na mumu, na fulu kon. Oh!